Sorry guys for the delay. I've been super busy with work. We've been on boarding many schools this year. And in fact, we've been having server load issues, server load issues. One of the reason we're rewriting CityWeb from scratch is because CityWeb uses an old MVC framework, an old ORM. ORM is short for Object Relational Mapping. It's basically a layer of code that programmers use to talk to databases. It just simplifies things. Anyhow, long story short, the old app, the old code base is not exactly the most robust in terms of scaling. And that's one of the reasons why we're rewriting from scratch. It's just easier. And so with all the new schools coming on board, we've been having load issues and I've been throwing server resources at it like crazy. What does that mean? That means we migrated Studio Web totally to the cloud earlier this year or late last year, I forget now, it's all blur. And so for us to be able to double and triple and quadruple server power is literally a click of a button. That is one of the huge advantages of going cloud-based with your web apps is because you can scale immediately. It takes literally a minute or two and you can double, quadruple your, your server capacity. Whereas when you use traditional uh, dedicated servers like I had been using for 15 years or so, the problem with that, if you want to upgrade, it's a big job. It's a big job because you're kind of locked into this physical box. Now, cloud-based servers are just basically, you got this big cloud software that is powered by many, many, many physical servers. So one server drops out, all the other servers take up the slack, and the hosting company can add many, many more boxes dynamically without interrupting the flow of all the hosting, all the apps operations. It's kind of like hot swappable hard disk when you have a RAID array where you have many hard disks and they're constantly copying each other and you can pull one out if it fails, but the other ones take, take up the load and you just put another one in and it spins up and it joins everybody else and they keep all the data nice and clean and intact rather. And you have that with cloud hosting, essentially the same thing, but on a server level where uh, everything is uh, hosted, everything is powered by many, many, many machines, lots and lots of hardware, CPU, RAM, hard disk, and so forth. But because of replication and a very sophisticated cloud hosting infrastructure, which is all code, is all apps, uh, everything is kept up to date. So you can scale very quickly and deal with server load issues. But at the end of the day, in my particular situation, uh, the reason that the apps are really slowing down is because of the influx of a bunch of new schools. We saw one of our key tables in the database. Um, it's racked up a bunch of records. So we hit, you know, around a million records. And, you know, I won't get into the details. So because we had a million records in that table, the whole thing started as like, pfft, the whole app started tanking because everything comes, everything revol revolves around hitting that database table, interacting with it, reading and writing to it. So uh, we were able to fix it. Uh, I went in there, actually I had to do it because uh, I had to put my nerd cap back on and I sort of figured out it was in fact the problem, the bottleneck problem was that table. So fortunately I was able to uh, clean up stuff and uh, it looks like we got the app running back at pretty decent speeds. So uh, there's a, a lesson to be learned there. Number one, cloud-based hosting allows you to add server power. And that's what we did for initially when the problem uh, was starting to occur over the last week or so. We are getting calls from schools and stuff. Hey, it's slow, it's slow. And we indeed checked it out and our own reports are showing it was slow. I said, why are we getting all these processes? So I went through the steps that a decent developer does to check to see to check and isolate what the problem might be. I figured it out, I narrowed it down to that particular table and uh, I was able to address it by cleaning up some of the table and so on. That said, uh, it's not normal for me to actually jump into the uh, guts of an app these days. I'm just too busy with everything else. But I had to, uh, at that particular moment, I was up to like 2 a.m. last night, uh, 
just be, you know being sure I was doing things properly. So you, you know before you make any major changes to your database uh, in terms of the records and so forth, be sure you have everything backed up quite a bit and test and retest. Uh, so I was doing data cleanups. So what I did was I would first do tests, make sure my my SQL query calls, SQL is the language of databases, of relational databases, which is the most popular type of database everybody uses these days. Anyway, so SQL, structured query language, it's a language that is structured and it's for querying, which is another word for asking questions of a database. Anyhow, so one of the things you do before you do a big purge of your data, uh, you back up everything. And then I test, make sure my query is working with just with a simple select with the same uh, where clause, the same where clause criteria. So make sure, you know, the results you get back in the select statement pulls out the records that you want and you double chip, double check, triple check, especially if you're at one, more, one in the morning. And normally I would not advise this, but you know, we we're getting a lot of complaints. So I had to do something. Sorry about that, the camera stopped. So I checked to make sure that my query logic was cool with the select, because select is a non-destructive query. It just selects from the database. It doesn't remove anything. And then, uh, yeah, I checked it three, four times. Everything was cool. Then I executed the delete to clean up stuff. And uh, yeah, it looks like everything is moving much quicker. Sometimes, when database tables fill up with a million records or more in my SQL, you can have big slowdowns. And I don't know, I have to check to see if the developers uh, properly index the table and so on. I haven't had time to check into that. It could be why. Uh, that's a big part of it. You can, uh, how you structure your table can have a huge impact in terms of performance. Uh, so I have to look into that. But fortunately, because of the, the way we manage our data in Studio Web, where student records are uh, removed once they finish the course and everybody has everything is done. It's for security reasons, but also helps with performance as well. Anyway, that's it. I thought you'd find this interesting. My apologies for the interruption. Uh, since I've been using this new high uh, quality video format, uh, hopefully the quality of videos improve. But once in a while, for some reason, the camera just stops recording. It's like it's going, ah, it's too much and stops. All right. Much more to come. I'm sorry I'm late with everything in terms of YouTube and, and client side stuff because I've just been dealing with a lot of work with the, uh, with the institutional clients. All right, ciao, ciao.